What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. I'm here on my 7.1 shop page in Squarespace. And if I want to check out the bowls, I can click the bowl navigation. And if I want to go to a different category, I can click dishware and see the dishware, or I can go back to all. Now this doesn't seem very special, but you might be shocked to realize that this is actually not the native functionality of shop categories in Squarespace. I've written a plugin to be able to achieve this navigation on your shop page. And that's what we're gonna be going over in this video. I've removed my plugin from this site, so now we can see the default functionality. So I'm on the main shop page, and if I click into the bowl category, all of a sudden everything disappears. I have no way to get back to the main page, which is not good. I have to click on the shop again and now I'm back. So once you get into a category page, you're kind of stuck there. Now Squarespace does have an option called breadcrumbs that you can toggle on. So if you, on the main page, if you edit the section, you can uh, toggle on breadcrumbs. And that way you get this little all button that you can click to go back to the main page. But it's still a little bit jarring. Like you would expect the same breadcrumb navig navigation in terms of like the category links down here on each of the different pages. So uh, it's just, it's a weird experience. I'm not sure why they did that. So unfortunately I've had to write a plugin in order to fix it, but fortunately we now are able to accomplish a normal top navigation with my plugin. So let me go ahead and install the CSS back on the site. Just gonna copy and paste it in to the custom CSS window and hit save. And so now we can see we get an all button, which is great. Uh, if you wanna toggle that off, if you go to the pages panel and edit your shop collection, if you scroll down, it's this top category name. So you can toggle that off by hitting this filter visibility and just toggling that off. So now you don't see the all option. If you do want it on, and I like it on, I always toggle that on and you can change the all name. So like you can call this like main shop or something like that, but I prefer to leave it at all. And also you can toggle on the breadcrumbs. So if on the individual pages, for some reason you do want that up there, you can toggle it on. I prefer to have it off now that we have these main links down here. So I'll edit the section and turn off the breadcrumbs. So now if I save and exit, um, we get back to our original, just normal navigation. We can go to all items, we can go to the cups, and it's just a much better navigation experience on the shop. And I'll go down to mobile and show you. Um, it's just the normal kind of navigation experience, except now it'll appear on all pages. So this plugin is very specific to when it's set to the top navigation, and it also works if you want the heading to be aligned to the left. So we'll align it to the left and now everything aligns properly. So if you set the, the categories type to sidebar, then this plugin, uh, it doesn't have any effect. It'll just show up normally as the sidebar. So that's kind of nice. If you install this plugin and decide, you know, actually I want the sidebar, it's not gonna mess anything up. But I do like that top category option and I personally prefer to have it aligned to the middle. All right, that concludes the look at my latest plugin. If you're interested in purchasing it, the link will be below this video in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to discover more Squarespace tricks and solutions like this, consider subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.